Hi, my name is Jared Trotter and I'm an Applications Engineer for Go Engineer. In today's video, I want to show you some options for hiding and showing components in assembly. While you may have seen some of these tips, my hope is that by the end of this video, you'll have a better understanding of what techniques to use for different situations. Let's get started. With our simple assembly here, I'll hide a few components by clicking on the part, moving my cursor to the In Context menu, and clicking the Hide Components button. Similarly, you can click on the part name in the Feature tree and select some of the same options as you have in the Graphics area, the Hide option, or the Show option if the part is already hidden. Notice the folder that contains these two nozzle parts. When you have two or more components in a folder, and there's a combination of shown and hidden parts, the folder will turn from blue to blue and white as an indicator. You'll also notice in the display pane that expands from the feature tree that you can click the part icon next to the part name to toggle its high show state. If you want to look at all of the hidden components at once, we have the option to show hidden components from the command manager and we go into a mode where only the hidden components are in the graphics area. Since we're only showing the hidden components, when we click on a part and it disappears, that means it will be shown once we exit the Show Hidden option. Another option in the graphics area is to use the Tab key. Holding down this key allows us to move the cursor across any number of parts and hide them. The reverse happens if we hold down the Shift and the Tab key simultaneously. So if we have these two keys depressed, then whatever we move our mouse over shows again. But let's say you want to be able to see both sets at the same time. That is, you want to see all of the hidden components alongside the shown components and just be able to toggle the visibility of select hidden components. For a situation like that, you can use the Control, Shift, and Tab key together. This three key combo makes all of the hidden components transparent so they're distinguishable from the shown parts. Now you can just click on the hidden components that you want to show. That's it for this quick tip video. Thanks for watching.